Hi everybody, it's Claire back with another art journal video and this is super exciting. I've been lucky enough to be sent some stuff from Ranger uh, for Dina's latest release. Um, so this is my first project using some of Dina's new things. So I received a couple of stencils and the beautiful uh, zip pouches as well and some collage papers. Um, so I am making a start on a cutout page. So I'm using this stencil. This one is called Sunshine. And I have to be honest, as soon as I saw it, I just thought that's got to be a cutout page. So the easiest way to make this into a cutout is to actually stencil through it using some black paint. And then all I'm doing is cutting out the areas that are black, um, which as you can see, will leave that border behind. Um, so it's quite a long process, but actually, I just usually when I'm doing something like this, a cutout page that's um, as intricate as this one, I just put some telly on or something and just watch while I'm or listen while I'm cutting out. Um, yeah, I think it's just one of those things. You can't rush it. You've just got to take your time. Um, and before you know it, you will have your cutout page done. So once I'd done it, I then decided I was going to use the sunburst as um, like a rainbow sunburst. And I was going to add my colours, starting with the red in the centre and then just building them out towards the edge of the page. So as usual, I've used uh, ruby, tangerine, lemon, lime, turquoise, orchid and blackberry. And it's created a really bright, colourful a rainbow burst on this cutout page worked really nicely. And then once I'd done that, I just got a bit of black paint on a, a blending sponge and added some black to the back of the cutout page, um, just as a bit of a contrast with all the nice bright colours on the other side. Then I decided I would paint black around the border on the cutout page as well, just to make that uh, stand out a little bit more. Um, just to kind of help to draw the eye in to the centre a little bit as well. So once that was dry, I then used my dotty stamp from Funky Fossil just to add some dots around the areas where the black 
border was just to kind of help that contrast between the bright colours and the black edge. And then this new pack of collage paper from Dina is called Jumbled Letters. Um, I love it. As you know, I do love adding text and words and letters onto my journal pages. So this collage pack is going to be one of my favourites, I'm pretty certain. Um, and I decided I would just stick a, a piece of this on the page behind my cutout. Um, and that would be the start of my background. So then I'm using this face from the Make Things Happen stamp set. This is one of my favourite faces, I think, of all the stamp sets that I've got from Dina. Um, it's got such a soft, gentle expression and I just I think it just works so well. Um, I do apologise about the shaky uh, camera there as well. Um, so here I've, I've stamped it onto white cardstock and then I've just cut that out. And then I decided I would use a bit more of the jumbled letters collage paper for the body part, body part, body shape <laughs> of this figure on my page. And I'm just sticking that on using um, a glue stick. I wasn't particularly worried about it um, going transparent. In fact, I wanted it to, to be uh, more obvious than that. So next I am adding some mineral paint onto the right hand side of my page um, and grabbing the lattice stencil um, from one of Dina's previous releases and I'm going to do um, the ghosting technique where using a baby wipe to just lift some of the paint through the stencil so that there's a little bit more pattern and another colour on the background page um, but not too much. So then that was given a quick dry and then I'm just sticking this figure in using a glue stick and I've positioned it carefully so that when the cutout page is fault is on top is closed you can still see her eyes through uh, the cutout parts. So this is a, a word stamp that says don't worry and it's from the make things happen stamp set I'm just going to stamp that into the center of the uh, rainbow burst that from the sun shine cut out stencil page and um, again just using one of the stamps from there this is that directional arrow stamp which is fabulous for just drawing attention in to a certain area of a journal page it's this stamp set I think is one of my all-time favorites definitely and then I found a quote in the ledger papers that kind of worked with the theme of my page about not worrying um, and what to do when you've got those worrying thoughts that crowd into your mind. Um, and that's just going to be cut up and stuck on the left hand side of the page. And that's about it really for this page. So it was lots of fun creating that cutout page using um, Dina's stencil. There are lots of um, Dina stencils that lend themselves really well to this sort of technique. Um, and definitely stenciling through them in black um, gives you a really easy way to see where to cut out and where to leave um, and there we go that's the finished page so the contrast between the bright colours at the front and the monochrome page behind that works quite well too so I hope you've found some inspiration watching this don't forget to come back again tomorrow there'll be a new video going up for the next few days sharing Dina's new goodies thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon